Hi, my name is Lisa. I don't have a history with opioids. My daughter has a history with it. Cassie was like an amazing, amazing person. She was on the Dean's list, getting ready to graduate two weeks before. And that's when I found out that Cassidy did use heroin. At that time, I didn't understand the opioid disease very much. And it is a disease, just like alcoholism or overeating or binging. When Cassidy started going into recovery, it was like I had my little girl. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it was like they had my little girl back, my college student that was on the Dean's list and has a focus and a purpose and nothing is going to get in her way. I mean, she's reaching out. She's helping the community. She's doing so much. It's like having her back at 21 and it's a pleasure and it's a joy to see her like that and to see her motivated and want to change herself. Hopefully this program will help her and other individuals like her, no matter their level of education, to get a chance, a fair shake at life. You know, continue with what they are passionate about. The stigma is so bad that they don't want to reach out for help. They're ashamed. It's important to them to lead normal lives, to try to want to get help. I would just encourage them to seek out help and also find help for them and say, these are the avenues you can take now Let's try to change it, all of us together, and rally. That's, that's the best thing that I, and the best advice I can give. Not enough people will help people with opioid addiction, and we need to change that, and I'm here to change it, and so is my daughter.